Now then, there was a pigment. Hey, it could be anywhere. Uh, all the bodies are going to come up as uh, scannable as well. Finding this pigment is going to be rough. They say it's usually on mountains. I became complacent. Or near hot springs. And I don't see any hot springs. So the next guess is probably mountains. You never stop proving yourself. How could I forget that? The Osiram. With their ridiculous ideas about women. How many great warriors have they ignored? I got a rock. Ugh, finding this pigment's going to be a pain in the butt with all the bodies lying around too because if it's just somewhere in the middle of the camp it's going to be hidden by the bodies that's a supply crate heavy sigh I'm right now leaning towards it being somewhere up in this mountain. But I don't see it. Supply crate. I can trade this blue gleam. Shut up, Aloy. Another, that's a body. That's a body. That's a supply crate. There's two things up there. I'm assuming they're both supply crates. Ugh, this is gonna suck. All right, well now I'm out of range. So actually the range is smaller than I expected. The range is definitely smaller than I thought, maybe. Ah, who the fuck knows? Oh, there it is. We've we have we've got eyes on it. Uh, now to get to it, I think I'm probably gonna have to leave this area and go outside this gate. And one of these. Okay, but at least we got eyes on it. Yeet. That's it over there. Cool. All right. Made it camp clear. There's another control tower here. And then from there, we can uh, access the rest of the things to collect. And then I've only been streaming for an hour 22. So I might actually have some time to progress which is always exciting. That's medicinal. 48%, I'll take that. I see Banuke over there. Are they going to help me with the control tower? Probably not. Backs. I 
And my game is also lagging. I do not want to fight these corrupted Bellowbacks. Thankfully, there is a flower, or there is tall grass. That was my chance. Nope, they know where I am. Override the tower. Go, go, go. If I pull this off, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> we did it. I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay. Uh, there's a blue gleam over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep heading for it. I'm guessing do I need to go over the hill to get to it? Can I even get over this hill? I don't know. Thank God I did not have to fight three corrupted demonic Velovax. Screw that noise. I thought they'd go on forever. All right, I see another tower on my map. I see another tower on my map in the direction I'm looking. But I do not, I do not see a tower. Oh, right there. Okay, there is a tower over there. First, let's find this blue gleam. Can't see shit. I'm going to assume they're going to want me to climb this stupid mountain to get it. Oh, wait, wait. Nice. They took mercy on me. All right, I'll get this blue gleam behind me and then I will work my way down to this one. Actually, no, I don't need to go too far. I'll go to this one. I feel like it really doesn't make a big difference. I think it's, it's going to take me similar amounts of time regardless of the path. So we'll just keep moving. Sometimes you spend more time worrying about the plan that it just doesn't become worth the effort towards it. Making progress is progress. I find myself when I feel like I'm overwhelmed by a tasks, by tasks or, or a singular task, it's just like, make make a dent in it at least. Do something, because progress is progress. You'll eventually be done. If you feel daunted just starting out, then you're never going to get anywhere. What is that? Oh, okay, that's fine.
I'm looking for a blue gleam formation. That's a badger. Oh, it was literally right next to me. Won't be hard. All right, uh, there's a tower down in here. Imagine that there's something in addition to the towers and after I finish all of this trouble, they're going to make me go back to all of these tower sites and like collect something from them. Slide down the crevice. Good job, Aloy. It's just a bunch of the little shell guys, right? Pew. This guy just stops, just stop hovering over me. Go over there. He walked into me. It's fine. It's fine. I'll totally get this override. Leave me alone. Oh my god, it was right there. These things are stupid. What if I go over here? I have this thing where I'm very stubborn and I'm just going to keep trying the same thing until it eventually works. Nope, that guy's going to shock me and I'm almost dead. Okay, he's stunned, and everybody's away from it, so I can go. Hey, Banuke, over there. Want to come help me? These guys. Ow. This is stupid. I don't know what I just drank. These guys have suddenly become the worst ones to fight. Don't know how that happened. My God.
I was so close that one time on the override. God, how far back did they just send me? Uh, I was down here. Stupid. I have to figure out uh, food to bring because my mom wants me to make some kind of food to, for Father's Day. She's making meatballs and spaghetti sauce, and Dad's gonna be barbecuing chickens. They have the meats covered. What what kind of what kind of like carb goes along with Italian meatballs and American barbecue chicken? I could do like an Alfredo, but that's not American. That's Italian. Barbecue chicken would be good with like mashed potatoes, but that doesn't really go with the. <laughs> With the meatballs. What is this combination? Alright, let's go die again. I guess. That's all I'm really good for. Abby's not going to be here to help me either. I got to cook all by my lonesome. Tragic. I'm surrounded. God, they're everywhere. God, come on, give it to me. Go, override faster, Aloy. Override faster, fuck. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, but I have Banuke here. That will actually help me. That's that's nice. That, nope, they're not helpful. Crap. 
you guys stop doing the huge shockwave on me? And the Banuke are dead. They see me. But I'm far away from the, uh, from the tower. Do you think if I sprint to the tower, I can get there and override it before they catch up to me? Going on the far side to hopefully dodge projectiles. Aha! This tower could be useful. See you later, nerds. Okay. <laughs> there are animal figurines. There's an animal figurine over here, and I'm going to go get that. And you guys are going to stay right here and chill out. Chill the fuck out. The fuck out. All right. Will tourists return? Uh, March 1st of 2045. Contact Marnie Jeppards. Mammoth Hot Springs, Wyoming. Roosevelt. Oh, Roosevelt Arch soars over the road to the north entrance of Yellowstone National Park. In the park's heyday, more than 100,000 visitors each month pass below this arch on their way to visit such celebrated landmarks as the Geyser Old Faithful, the mighty Yellowstone River, and the vibrant Grand Prismatic Pools. Since President Ulysses S. Grant signed an act of dedication to create Yellowstone National Park in 1872, it has survived forest fires, world wars, and earthquakes to be enjoyed by nature lovers for more than 150 years, until environmental concerns drove the entire world into chaos. In 2031, the federal government withdrew funding from the park and transferred ownership to the state of Wyoming, after which the rate of visitation slowed to a trickle. Old Faithful's dependable eruptions went unobserved, and Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel, where guests once devoured bison meatballs, sat empty for years, blankly staring across an expanse of wilderness. The 30s saw several attempts to privatize the park. Many companies, including the powerful Far Faro Automated Solutions, made bids to purchase its land. After Farrah's proposal was abruptly withdrawn in 2040, weakened federal protections on public parks were restored, coinciding with the easing of climate change through technological means. As the world claws back, so too will Yellowstone. As of next week, the park will be restored to the United States government, with Faro Automated Solutions returning to finance the handoff, as well as providing funding for as-yet unspecified new facilities. Tourism is already up in advance of these proceedings, and soon Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel and the park's walkways will bustle with life again. We look forward to your blank. Thanks. What am I hearing? There's another tower over there. Why are there more towers? What monstrosity am I am I hearing over here? It's a uh, tramplers. Okay. Pack off. I mean, right now I see no hostiles between me and the tower, so I'm just gonna run for it. But there is another tower over there. But after I take out this one, it should stun everything and I should be able to go get the other one. Go quick. Oh, I'm uh, recharging my override. Override, override, override. Faster, it's right next to me. <gasps> ah, we got it. It's fine. I don't see a third tower here, so I'm just going for the blue gleam now. See ya. I see another damn tower in the distance. Why? <gasps> Why are there so many towers here? I'm just going off the assumption that taking out the towers is a required thing. I have no reason. I have nothing to back this up. It's just intuition. Blue gleam. Blue gleam. All right. 
there's a pigment and more blue gleam there. Then there's a tower and a town and then this clouded out area. But we're actually getting close to being done. I'm hoping that I can have this done soon. Oh, useful. I see pigment, but do, where do I collect it? Is that I think I see the collection over there. Let's just take a, a swim in this frigid water. That sounds like fun. I'm pretty sure that's the pigment right there. I'll take that. Thank you. All right, we got to get this blue gleam that's up here. I might end up having to climb around the mountain a bit to get to it, but that's fine because I need more healing before we get to the next tower. Whatever monstrosity they're going to make me fight next. I actually might be able to make it up this hill a bit. Not very helpful. 